commercials are great on these stations. Beautiful commercials. Tonics, liniments, cure-all medicines, pills, religious items, statues, plaques, pictures, books. Especially pictures. There's one ad that goes, uh, Friends, for only $1.98 postpaid, you can have an autographed picture of the Savior that glows in the dark. <laughs> it's autographed. See, that's a whippy. <laughs> Think about that for a while. <laughs> Friends, do you have a loved one moldering away in an unmarked grave? <laughs> And they'll say, the Rock of Ages Monument Company has a monument to fit every pocketbook. Which, of course, makes them cumbersome and hard to handle. <laughs> so why are you on your purse there? It's a monument, man. <laughs> what kind of a nut are you carrying a monument around in your purse? What do you do with a purse anyway? Don't be silly. I always carry a purse. <laughs> if you listen to these stations, you'll also know that the people on them have good old, sincere, honest American names. None of these phony, cute names like on the rock and roll stations like Ricky, Dicky, Snicky. None of those. <laughs> Real honest to goodness American names like Don and Earl, Hank and Bob, Homer and Jethro, Leopold and Loeb. Names <laughs> like and the songs they sing are great. The love songs have beautiful titles like My Tears Have Washed I Love You from the Blackboard of My Heart. <laughs> How about this one? You done stomped upon my heart and you mashed that sucker flat. <laughs> And if they don't have a title like that, then, then they always have some kind of a moral in them or some great truth you can learn from the song. When I was just a young lad on my 21st birthday, my dear old mother came to me and this to me did say, Now, son, you're all grown up. Down life's road you must depart. So take this gift I give to you and wear it near your heart. It was an old silver bullet, an old silver bullet, that same old silver bullet that my mother gave to me. Oh, pick it on the guitar now. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Okay. <laughs> yes, friends, and I unwrapped that gift. That is just what I found. A shiny silver bullet with engraving all around. And it said, uh, there on the bullet, it said engraved on the side of it. That was so neat. I can't, uh, I can't remember what it said. Well, don't worry. I got it right here in my pocket next to my hort. <laughs> there it is, Mom's old silver bullet, boy. It's kind of hard to read now because it's old and tarnished, but if you look real close, you can still read it. I can hear Ma saying it now. Son. That's what you always call me. <laughs> Son, have you attempted to pull a fast one? And I know you're going to pull it. Just remember, pressed against your breast, is that old silver keepsake that your mother gave to you on the day that you became a man. So as you walk down the rocky road of life, <laughs> you'll always remember to wash behind your ears and change your underwear once a week. <laughs> I don't know how she crammed all that on that little bitty bullet. <clears throat> and another thing, son, I don't like you running around with that wild, unruly clampet girl. Well, that's just like Ma to say something like that. Shut up while I'm talking to you. <laughs> So you'll always know wherever you go, you got your mom's old silver bullet next to your heart. <laughs> it was an old silver bullet, an old silver bullet, that same old silver bullet that my mother gave to me. And you know, friends, I did that very thing after that, carried that bullet around with me in my breast pocket next to my heart. Well, then I went off to the war, come back without a scratch. Just last week, I chanced to walk right by a booby hatch. In a seven-story window, a paranoid, schizophrenic, super eccentric, vastly disturbed, confounded, perplexed, and bewildered religious fanatic. <laughs> I could see he picked up a heavy Bible and throwed it straight at me. But that old silver bullet, that old silver bullet, that same old silver bullet that my mother gave to me. You know, friends, that Bible come a hurtling down at me at an enormous rate of speed. Boy, it just come a whizzing down and got all blurry. It was going so fast <laughs> and hit me right square on the chest with incredible force. And it hadn't been for that bullet, that Bible would have passed clean through my body. I'd like to take you now deep into the heart of the Okefenokee Swamp, where a mad scientist is working on his latest monster. <laughs> <laughs> the storm I've been waiting for has finally arrived. <laughs> now I can finish making my monster. <laughs> He's in the secret laboratory. It's here somewhere. 
I knew it was here before. It's a secret button, too. I <laughs> can't find that either. It's a, oh, there, there it is. <laughs> the secret laboratory. Now slide him out. <laughs> oh, the great monster. Look, he's almost finished, just like the book told me. <laughs> Going to make one last check. Page 32. Foot bone connected to the ankle bone, ankle bone connected to the leg bone, the leg bone to the hip bone, the hip bone to the body bone. And the body bone. I forgot the head. Now he's all ready. All I do is pull the switch <laughs> in this great electrical storm. <laughs> we'll bring him to life. Boom, 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 boom. What a great monster! Look at him! <laughs> He's huge! He's ten feet tall, just like the washing machine! <laughs> He can walk and he can talk. <laughs> say something, will you idiot? Don't just stand to say something. <sighs> there ain't gonna be no integration long as I'm governor of Alabama. <laughs> Social protests you can dance to. You ought to see my baby. She'll really make you stare. She holds my hands in both of hers while her other one strokes my hair. She's my radiation baby. She's my teenage voila queen. The other night I met her down by the hot dog stand and, 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 and she was waiting there for me. Her heart was in her hand. Yeah. She's my radiation baby. She's my teenage fallout queen. Here comes the dramatic part now. I remember it well, my darling. The night we had our fight, you threw my class ring into the grass as we sat in the park that night. We were kissing, dear, and making out up when we saw the blinding light. And I didn't know that you weren't with me, dear, when they locked that shelter tight. You went back to my class ring where you left it in the pot. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ark. Now when it's on your finger, dear, it glow, whoa, 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 whoa's in the dark. You're my radiation, baby. You're my teenage fallout queen. Wee, 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 wee. do, 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 what? Your clothes look like a sack to me. And your hair, your hair is getting thin. But I saw, I saw when you came back to me That it had cleared up your skin So, whoa, whoa, hold me close, my darling Cause I know what you've got My Geiger counter, dear Tells me that you're hot <laughs> You're my radiation, baby you're my teenage fallout queen. <laughs> <laughs>